Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, we have more questions that came in, and including a couple that came in through email uh, concerning what's coming up next. So we'll have some hypothetical questions that we are going to answer probably in what is the most logical uh, way of what's going to happen. The first question is, okay, June 24th. Windows 11. Um, what happens to Windows 10 and its support? So right now in Windows 10 when you actually have a version of Windows your version of Windows is good for a 18 month run so from the time you update to the latest version for those that follow always the latest version like for example now it's 21H1 typically we have 18 months starting from May 2021. So that brings us to, of course, f the uh, fall of, for the, um, you know, like November or October 2022 before it actually expires. Now, if they do Windows 11, technically that would mean that Windows 10 would be now uh, the previous version of Windows. And of course, when there's a new version of Windows, the previous version doesn't stop there. There's a overlapping time when two operating systems will actually have support. What I think is going to happen, if that would be the case, probably Windows 10. As we, you guys remember, Windows has a 10-year life. So every version of Windows that is coming out always has 10 years of life. And Windows 10 has 10 years of life. Technically, the feature updates have 18 months, but the end date for Windows 10, and some of you are there, some of you that have these older devices that were stuck and not updating anymore, they gave you that extended time. It's now Windows 10 available until its end of support, which is... 2025. The year 2025 is going to mark 10 years of Windows 10. So that would mean that I would guess Windows 10 would be sent to this uh, last date, meaning you would get no more new features, but you would get security updates to maintain the system until 2025. And in that period of time, there would be an overlapping Windows 11 available that you can upgrade to. So this is, I would guess, the way they would do it because they would not start publishing two versions of Windows uh, with new features. It's, you know, one or the other. And, of course, the newer system is always the one that's privileged for new features. The um, other thing that this one we have really, um, we're not, we don't have any idea technically because we don't know the un underlying core but the question is, how um, fast is it going to be? Could that have a, um, you know, as fast or faster, um, run faster than Windows 10? Or could it be, you know, big and bloated and run slower? I'm pretty sure they're trying to work on a system that is going to be at least as uh, fast as Windows 10. Uh, a lot of people think Windows 10 is slow, it's big, and it's, um, you know, something that has too many features. In reality, most of the tests done show that Windows 10 runs way better and faster than Windows 7 ever did on the same uh, hardware. And that's because they've changed the way that all is optimized. In Windows 7, there's no memory optimization. It's an old system like Windows XP where everything goes in RAM and whatever arrives first takes the place. In Windows 10, and that started actually in Windows 8, the RAM usage, for example, was optimized. And that creates a much more efficient way of running the system. I would guess they'll continue on that side. So it would be as, I think, as fast. If they can make it faster, why not? Uh, the other question is, do you think that next version of Windows does have Windows 10 X features in it? I'm pretty sure it probably does. They stopped Windows 10 X, and I think they stopped it because they just realized that Windows 10 is obviously, um, th the next Windows, sorry, is obviously such a big update that it is going to be pretty interesting and pretty 
um, you know, full of features that they need to focus on it. They need to focus on that to make sure it works. Uh, that that they have no choice, and they they abandoned Windows 10 X. I'm pretty sure because of that. Also, Windows 10 X had major flaws in design and the way that things were happening. Um, the um, Windows 10 X features will probably will will see some of those in there, some of the the menu, some of the way things work within the system. And since Windows 10 X is a lightweight operating system at the base, maybe that could help. Question. Is the control panel going to be there? I can't see the control panel gone from even Windows 11. Why? Control panel has so many things that they would have had to completely, completely redesign, completely move all this stuff. That would make it such a huge new version of Windows that, um, that I don't know, I, I, I would almost be scary to know if, if it's going to be stable enough at the time of launch. Uh, the other question, haven't been tested in the Insider Rings yet. Do you think that just Insider testing at Microsoft is enough? That's always the scary question. I believe a Insider Ring test needs to be done for a while to really dish out the bugs that it could have. I don't think just internal testing at Microsoft is enough. And um, this is probably going to happen after the June 24th event. And the last question that I've got is um, Windows 11, like the last version of Windows and Microsoft is about to kill Windows? Uh, no. Remember, Windows is the third um, biggest cash cow of Microsoft. There's cloud, there's office, and there's Windows, which actually brings in about $15 billion per quarter. That's a lot of money, and uh, you, you know, Microsoft ignores Windows for a while. It shouldn't. It shouldn't because it's still big. And I mean, at 1.3 billion devices using it, it's huge, actually. So Microsoft should not ignore Windows. And unfortunately, they've been ignoring it a lot in the past couple of years and not even mentioning half of anything in the events. You know, there used to be events like at Build where there would be a feature on Windows. We'd see new things. We'd see what Windows is all about. That has gone away as if Windows isn't important anymore when in reality it's still a big thing. So now the focus is back on Windows. But no, uh, Windows is here to, to stay for a long time uh, still. But we have to focus on the fact that more and more people are enjoying stuff on their mobile devices and don't need a computer anymore. And that will be more and more as the future progresses. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.